Well, today just might be someone's lucky day. Maybe it will be your lucky day. We're just hours away from the next Powerball drawing. Tonight's jackpot, an estimated $900 million and counting. Saturday's drawing marked the 37th time without a winning grand prize ticket. So the question we ask, how likely is it someone will win tonight? At some point, someone's going to win, right? It's just math. Joining me now to discuss the chances of winning, Tim Chartier, distinguished visiting professor for the National Museum of Mathematics. My husband says everything is about math, even the lottery, maybe more so the lottery. Why are we seeing such big jackpots right now? I mean, we're upwards in the billion dollar range, it seems like almost every time. Yeah, part of it has to do with the rule changes to the lotteries is that they actually changed the rules so that it became less likely. But you have to be careful if you make it too less likely, then we could just go on and on and people aren't really incentivized to try. For instance, if you think of March Madness, no one's ever had a perfect bracket. So that's actually too hard relative to a lottery. One of the, the big parts also in terms of winning is that a lot of people don't play until it hits that billion dollar mark, is that when we're at half a billion dollars, $500 million, enough people play that there's actually only a 5% chance that we see the jackpot hit. Whereas when it hits the billion dollar mark, we move up to about a half about a 50% chance of seeing a winner. This is more of a mental question than a math question, but what does that say about us that 500 million isn't enough anymore? <laughs> I need 900 million. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, let's talk about picking the numbers and the odds of winning. So are you in the category pick your own numbers or are you a random draw guy? Yeah, one of the reasons that you want to pick random numbers is that we all tend to lean towards certain numbers when we pick the numbers. It doesn't change the odds of your winning, but if you win, the random numbers decrease the odds that you have to share the winnings. So that's, that's why I'm a believer in the random numbers. I guess it's a little bit like the, uh, I'm not going to do 500 million, I want more. <laughs> right, so we're looking at the odds there. Uh, if you buy one ticket, are you less likely than if you were to buy 10? How does that change your odds? Yeah, so let's talk about the, the best way to think about it is that the odds of winning are one in just over 292 million. That's kind of hard to wrap our brains around. So it's as if I picked one second in nine years and you have to pick the second that I picked in those nine years. So when you have 10 tickets or 100 tickets, 10 tickets is 10 times more likely, 100 is 100 times more likely, but keep in mind, that's like, if I give you 100 tickets, that's like saying that you get 100 guesses on the one second that I picked over nine years. So you're more likely, but more is still not very likely. <laughs> right, more likely to get attacked by a shark, which is happening more often lately, struck by lightning. Yeah. How about the Powerball number? So if you go random on the other ones, but you pick your Powerball, um, some people have said, I think certain numbers are picked more often. Is there any stat or science to that? Yeah, the, the issue with that is it's kind of hard to tell because there are numbers that have been picked more often, but if you think of just flipping a coin or maybe rolling a die is a better example, if you roll a die a hundred times, certain numbers are just going to be rolled more often. And the numbers are just close enough that it's a little difficult to tell if they're really all that likely, but people have taken advantage of that in the past in certain lotteries where certain balls were actually heavier. So the lighter ones were more likely to pop up. So. I don't know, maybe there's something there. You can look at the Powerball site to see which ones are more have come up more often. Right, and maybe pick one that hasn't because you think it's, it's their turn. Um, are you buying a ticket, Tim? Uh, ironically, I've never bought one, but every <laughs> single time I talk to you, my wife and I have a discussion about, well, maybe this is the first time because again, <laughs> It is a billion dollars. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe when it's two billion, you buy a ticket. All right, Tim, uh, as always, it's been fun. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.